f of x equals x plus 7 squared plus 4. It's another one. I told you there were three on here. Another one where they want you to know how to move a function around by adding numbers to different parts of the function. So we are starting with an x squared, which is just a, a little parabola, looks something like this. The vertex is at 0, 0. And we have that number out here on the outside. That is what moves it up or down. In this case, it in its direct, so it says a plus 4. So it's going to move it up 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm not using the graph graph in the background, sorry, probably should have, so moved up four. And then the positive seven inside there with the X, the numbers inside the X, once again, move it left or right, but the opposite way. So this is a plus seven. It's gonna move towards the negative side of the X and it's gonna move one, two, sorry, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, not using the graph paper, just doing a little rough version here. It's like, okay, so I've moved up four and to the left seven. So that is my new, uh, my new uh, parabola there. So the function f is defined by this given equation, which I've done a very rough drawing. Again, we're just sketching it out quickly so we have something to look at. For what value of x does f of x reach its minimum? Well, there's our, our minimum right there, our vertex. What is the coordinate? Well, x comes first and we went negative seven x and we went up four that's negative seven four and saying what is the value of x the value of x there is negative seven that is the easiest way to do this you can also uh if you just you know really like doing longer math than you have to you can expand that you can multiply x plus seven times x plus seven then add four then you can use x equals negative b over 2a to find the axis of symmetry and then and then find out you know what that value is for the um for the x you can um and it's going to get you the right answer it absolutely will but i think having that knowledge of how those numbers move this across the board is a much more effective use of your time in this timed test and that is it you have reached the end woohoo congratulations if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.